Hi folks, uh, well, I'm going to have a go at acrylic in this one. Um, I've changed the form or the, or the, uh, the layout of my corner here. Uh, I've got a big tables, two big tables, one to the right, one behind. I'm having a go at an acrylic, uh, rocky scenes or something like that. Uh, mainly because I'm doing a uh, demonstration for a neighbour tomorrow. Uh, she's, uh, she, she, she's making sort of slow progress, steady progress, um, but really needs a bit of a direction. So uh, I've offered to help her out. We've got a WhatsApp group, app group in our road and uh, I've been posting the occasional painting on there and uh, a lot of people like them, so uh, uh, from acorns, uh, big oaks grow. So right now I don't want that to move, so how do I sort that out? Uh, just take that off, take that off, I've got these big, big clips, probably get in the way. Uh, if I can get that under, oops. Oh. <laughs> Put that on there. The the, the box I, I've got the the drawer for my Mabeth easel uh, as a support for a, a plywood table makeshift. So that that should should do. Uh, I've got this locked in there. Right. Okay. So we've got uh, cadmium red, ultramarine, a bit of burnt sienna, Payne's grey, which isn't a colour. It's a it's a neutral. Uh, cadmium yellow pale and uh, yellow ochre. So first, um, first let's uh, just draw out a uh, bit of a we have a horizon coming through here. This is on a bit of uh, watercolour paper with a demo on the other side. Uh, right, this we could put in a bit of a. So we'll have a look. Right, okay, we're looking across a, across a bay with a rock in it, something like that. I'll be, I'll be going over all of that. So, we, so our medium now is water. Uh, so got, let's just move that a bit nearer. So we want to uh, let's have a bit of a uh, bit of red, bit of paint grey. Get stuck into that. I'm not priming this uh, because the paper, the plate paint itself is a primer on this sort of paper, so it doesn't matter if it soaks in, it's... Uh... So I'll just change that, I want to get a bit of a, an ex exciting sky. Bit of, bit, of, uh, bit of this, bit of that. You can be really experimental because it's only paint stuff for all said and done. There's a lovely two series, I shouldn't be promoting the BBC because I, there's a lot of it I don't like about it. But uh, they, they've just done a, or, on the iPlayer, if, if you've got BBC. Uh, um, the two documentaries introduced or compared by, or, by, I can't remember his name, but I always forget his name, uh, on the French Riviera, era, <laughs> Riviera, which uh, was very popular in the 
19th century and all the artists, is that all the artists that did the work there? And Picasso back and bar, back to uh, Vincent. When I do a critic, I, it makes me think that I should do more, but uh, I love oil painting. I'm not so enamoured with all kind of paper now, I've done everything, I'm just recycling it all the time. Well, for a lot of them anyway. So let's just get a nice light horizon. I've gone over me, me clip now. Uh, right, so... Filling in a lot of holes in the paper, it's quite a rough, roughish paper. You don't need to know what it is, it's just of ordinary student quality. Now make sure you keep your, your brush nice and moist. Some some black or well, paints grey, bit of red again. Use that old for me. It's uh, gone off in the in the tube, so it's very, very weak. Uh. I'll go back over that. I'm going to just clean the brush, and we'll get the horizon in. Keep your brushes dry, or clean anyway, clean. Don't let them dry because the, the acrylic will uh, ruin them. Uh. I would use the uh, Stay Wet palette, which will have a bit of a Toweling, wet toweling in, but uh, I've got my oil paints in there though, from yesterday. We've had a lot of uh, warm, well, hot, dry weather lately in London, or well, my bit of London. Uh, 
I'm just making this up as I'm going along. So you just work away, nothing in mind, just paint, and then we, we come up with a nice sky. It's going to be, I'm listening to the weather forecast, it's uh, quite uh, warm. Let's go a bit of bright now. I'm right-handed, so that's why things are going in certain directions. Well, that'll do. All right, let's just change the brush. Uh, I want, I've, I want a brush. I've got, I've got, I've got them somewhere. I don't know where they've, where they've gone. The bigger ones to that. Uh, No, it is a world one. So let's get a horizon in her. Uh, we've lost the horizon, so let's put it in. Now, because I've wet, put wet in, it's bunched up a bit. Right, okay, now we're going to the rocks. Uh, well, now we should finish off that horizon, shouldn't we? Let's keep that sort of fairly light. That's where I was going to put that clip. I'm, I still might. Blend in with that uh, bit of paint there. So that sort of filled out that so. bit. Yeah. That's a nice eight, bit of yellow in the uh, upper, uh, the upper part of the painting. So we're going to put in the uh, Payne's Grey, all this, a uh, little bit of red, a bit of mixture all up. We want drama. Uh,
might no it needs a it's a bit too even so let's uh That gives it a bit more weight, so let's put a bit of a bit of light in there. Uh, a bit, bit of a green. No, do we want green? Yeah, we want dark green. No, everybody, that would be wrong. I might just leave that as a rock and not to bother about anything else. Okay, we've got our rock, now we're going to texture it with uh, water. But I've got to get that, ooh, that's horizon's gone down there. Uh, that's higher than that, so let's say. It's a good idea, if you think of it, to mix, to bring the sky into the uh, water, and the water into the sky. Just soften a bit. Right, okay, here we go. Now, I might have to move my uh, palette a bit. Because I need to get into there. Right, okay, here we go. Uh, we've got to have a bit of... Bit of sky colour in the in the water, apart from the tips. messing about at the moment, seeing where we can go. I'll put some more Payne's Grey out. Uh, Payne's Grey. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is still quite malleable, this uh, Payne's Grey. There we go. Got to put some, some shadow in, in with, with the water. You can't just have a, a white, white wave. You've got to... <laughs> So it's just coming under the crashing wave. All right, let's get this all textured. Because we're still, we're still texturing. 
Even though we're painting, we don't call it detail. Once you start calling things or naming things, you start getting attached to them. And well, it's up to you what you, what you do. I mean, what I've learned over many years. A bit of, bit of blue. How are we going with the some Now you can put your texture back in, into the rocks and we've got to something coming, coming down here. Don't, don't work on it on one bit at a time. Go all over the place with this and, and, and you'll find that you have a much more impressionist feel to it. I think it's a guy to sleep doing this. And try not to get too many parallel waves. You can even leave some of the the uh, paper um, dry. It's white. Water over that little rock there, or part of the rock. Look. Right, I'm not so sure I like the colour of the rock. I want darker. Coming. Clean the brush. I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change my brush. I think I want some more border strokes, but I want to get this the light on here. Oh, 
Right, there we go. Let's uh, put that in there. I'll get my previous brush out. And this is where we have the fun. See now we've got some grey, bit of blue, I still don't like the colour, I've, I've used too much burnt sienna in there. Just this rock is going to be speckled with uh, well, I don't know. Uh, just have a little bit of Just try to put in a few, uh, uh, a few colours from the sky, but it hasn't.
Right, let's put that in the mount. We'll have a look at it. Let's just make all this. I'll clean all that off. I'm not going to use it tomorrow. I've got to let it be dry. Right, pull that up there. And get that off there. And find a mount that is uh, appropriate. That's like, yeah, that'll do. Push that up. Put that. Mm. Well, pretty where you like. Uh, right. Well, that's okay. I, I'm not dissatisfied with that. I think we could have a bird or two in, in there. So let's get the white and rigger. This beautiful rigger. No, I don't like that, it's not very white. It's a bit of water. Okay, I think. Give that brush a good, good clean because it's so beautiful. I will wash it. I wash all these brushes with uh, washing up liquid, but these have got to be wet. All right. Okay. So there we have an acrylic. I can sign it with uh, with a pen. I think. I know it's mine. Uh, right, let's just move this over there. So there we are. We've got, we've got, a, we've got a painting. Just, uh, I'll, I'll move this one up. It's, hopefully it's out of the way. Yeah, it's just about out of the way. Well, I hope you like that one, folks. Uh, acrylic rock, acrylic rock, stick of acrylic rock. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit. Uh, yeah. Okay. Hope you like it, folks. Bye for now.